Hi everyone, Cheryl here with another Cottage Cuts video um, on the Zinnia layered flower, like the flower right here. Um, I'm going to show you how I made this flower right here. And so um, the first thing you'll want to do is um, I cut three of this size, it's the middle flower, and then three of the smaller one. And that will be for for the big flower. Now you could also do um, three of the little ones to make little flowers to go along the sides of this. But anyways, the big one requires six flowers. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm using uh, whoops. Okay, the cardstock I'm using is the Cryogen White. And Paper Temptress sells this, and it's really, really pretty. And it also holds the color of the um, Glimmer Mist really well. And so I'm using the Pink Bubblegum Glimmer Mist and the Tattered Rose Glimmer Mist. And, whoops, so I'm going to shake these up really well. And what you'll want to do is go ahead and spray them with the light color first. And hopefully you can see this. And then go ahead and set those aside. And then the smaller ones. And these, on the smaller ones, what I like to do is, I don't know if you could see, but there's already um, pre, um, like, embossed lines. And I just snip some of those, um, some of the lines here, so you can uh, move your flower and the petals. And so I'm just cutting some of them. Okay. So you can kind of see I've cut them. And you'll want to do that on all three of them. You don't have to cut all the line, you know, where the lines are. I just cut some. And that's just to make it so you can um, scrunch it easier. Okay. So that one's done. And then number three. Whoops, I think I just dropped that one, and I think that's pretty much going to be it. Okay, and the same thing, you'll want to go ahead and spritz the three, and it doesn't matter if they're real wet, because you want them to be, so you can um, go ahead and scrunch them up. <coughs> And then if you want to take a like a paper napkin and dab them a little bit to get some of the excess off, that's I just use the towel that I keep down here. And then I go ahead and spritz with some of the dark. And you can kind of see that. Whoops. And then I'm just gonna take some of the excess of that off as well. It's pretty easy. And now that they're nice and wet, um, I just kind of scrunch them with my um, fingers like that and then set them aside. Oh. Just makes a real easy flower. Okay. And so that's going to build, those three are going to build the, the big flower. And I'm actually going to use these for the inside part of that flower. You could use a brad, a button, um, pearl, or whatever you'd like on the inside. Okay. And so what you're going to end up with, I use the, um, you're going to end up with a small one and then a large one like I have here and these are already dried and I use the Helmar um, scrap dots and I love this stuff it's perfect for um, making your own flowers it gives dimension and it's real easy to work with and I usually just set them aside and let them dry but you just put a, a dab of glue and then take your next one your next flower and put it in the center, so you can see that. And so you're just putting it in the center. You don't have to push it down, but however you leave it and you set it aside to dry is how it'll stay. Um, it's just really neat to work with. So now I'm going to add the glue to the bottom of this one and see how I've just scrunched it up. It's, I mean, it's nothing perfect, 
But when they're wet like this, um, however you leave them is what they're going to end up looking like. So if you set this one aside, which I'm going to end up doing, it'll end up just staying just like that. So I'm going to leave it there. And now I'm going to do my next one. Now on the smaller ones, you're going to want to use a little bit. Only because you're going to see, you'll see the glue. And then just scrunch that up. And I stick that. Hopefully you can see that one. Let me move it up a little bit. Could move it off of here. Let me so you can see it even better. Whoops. I'll move that one too. I'm going to move my paper. Sorry about that. Okay. So there's the bigger one. And now here's the small one. I've got that one. And now I'm going to do the center. And I do the same thing. I just flip it over and add a little bit of glue to the back. And to push that one down, I'm just going to use these tweezers. And now you'll want to, if you want to shape it, you'll want to do that now. But see how it gives it so much dimension? And so you could just shape it. And then you just let them set aside. You know, if you're going to do a project, you might want to let them set aside. Now, these ones are all dry and stiff now. And I'm going to go ahead and attach the small one into the center of my big one. So I just put the glue and I went ahead and set it in the center. Now I can add a little pearl if I want into the center of there. And there you have a flower. And I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Cottage Cuts Zinnia flower. And thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.